Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a peacock feather with watercolour pencils. This is a project that has a few different steps to it, but we break it down into stages um, and sort of different shapes and that should hopefully make it nice and clear uh, and easy for you to follow. So I've just got some watercolour pencils here, uh, a range of blues and greens, a couple of browns and a purple pencil. I want a black one as well. So quite a range of colours here, but you can you could make it work if you have fewer colours. But I just got this set of Reeves watercolour pencils, which I've had for ages. They're really um, affordable um, pencils, so um, they're, they're great. Um, and I will be back in my Canson Mixed Media 7x10 XL sketchbook today as that paper is suitable for uh, watercolour and acrylic but uh, yeah so any paper like that any thick paper or even thin card so we start off with a medium blue dark blue sort of pencil drawing a kidney bean shape sort of it should really be a third of the way down the page so I've kind of drawn it a bit high up the page here um, so just like that, colour that in, and then once you've coloured that in, grab the black pencil, just do a little bit of black along this top edge here, it doesn't have to be really careful or anything like that. We're going to blend it all in with water at the end. Um, so I'll just pop a little bit of black at the top there and then some purple down the middle here. Just a little bit either side as well. So there's sort of this middle, there's a middle sort of stripe with a bit of purple on it just, just there. well. Great, so that's the first stage. Now we need to draw a circle around this, so just around here like that. It doesn't matter if it's not an actual circle because mine, mine isn't. Freehand is always hard to draw a perfect circle. At least I find it hard anyway. So with the sky blue pencil that is, uh, and then colour this in around here. Great, so that's all done there. Then grab a medium blue pencil and just in this portion here, just where the kind of curve of the sort of kidney bean shape is, just do a little bit of medium blue, add a little bit of that into there, just up here like that. Next get a medium brown pencil and we want to draw kind of an egg shape so it needs to be slightly, the sort of the pointy end goes at the top here, bring it down like that and sort of around so try and keep the distance the sort of the same all around here and it's just at this top bit here the top sort of left is just a little bit more brown I don't know if that makes sense there and just color that in like that trying to keep the pressure nice and even as you do this so you don't end up with any patches that are a lot darker or a lot lighter than any others. It can help to have a slightly worn uh, side on your pencil because um, if it's very pointy it comes out thin and dark whereas a slightly worn edge or point will kind of make a softer mark on the page. There's that. Just before I go any further, I'm just going to go back to that first blue colour and just 
add a bit more to this these edges here because I feel like I was losing the, the sort of kidney bean shape a little bit which is um, that should be quite distinct in a peacock feather yeah that's better okay so next then we need to add another circle around that um, with this pale sort of yellow green so this one needs to be the same sort of width all the way around so just colour a nice ring all the way around here sort of a similar width to the brown um, around the, the bottom here so at this point it's probably going to look a bit weird you know all these sort of distinct rings of colour that um, may not look like it's becoming much but this next bit is where it should start to hopefully look a bit more like a peacock feather so what we need to do now is draw um, a point at the bottom here with this mid well no this is a darker green actually um, so we bring it around like this so again the same distance away from the pale green there and then we bring it down here into a point so that's And then at the top here, bring it up the knot into a point as such, because um, time to sort of add in some of the sort of feathering. So with some just loose strokes like that. So kind of comes into almost a point but not quite and you just leave it quite um can be quite untidy at the top there to uh, replicate the sort of loose strands of a peacock's feather and color that in around the side there up a very dark sort of blue green pencil and add some just some strokes of that into the green just to give it a bit of depth and then just up the top here as well to make some sort of strands hopefully it should be starting to feel a bit more peacock feather at this point so we're going to add the sort of there's probably a technical term but the stem of the feather so with a dark brown pencil just add a few strokes a few straight lines like this kind of show where it would attach to the peacock and you can just continue this up through the, the green slightly like that so off from that then we need to add some kind of feathery bits <laughs> off the side so just add a few strokes just trying to keep it random not not space them perfectly apart um, like that. Maybe um, vary the length as well slightly. Um, and add a few kind of up here around the edge of the green. So go back to this medium green pencil that you used for this shape here, or the initial layer of this shape anyway, and then just add in a bit of green with some of those brown strokes, just to create a bit of depth when you use the water to blend. 
blend the pencil, the pencil colour. Just add a bit more up here as well. So at this stage you could easily just leave this as it is and have it as a you know a coloured pencil drawing but what I'm going to do is um, add a little water and just move that along a little bit so just to blend out some of the colours and make them a little bit vibrant actually as well you'll notice so I'm getting a little bit of water on my brush don't want it too wet that's the important part here is that it'll it'll make the colours run too much so I'm going to start at the bottom here just oh, that's still too wet I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of water out of this okay so just going to blend the water in and it, it depends how much you want to blend out um, I quite like having a bit of the pencil um, the sort of the pencil markings showing through so I quite like to leave uh, a bit of that so it doesn't blend it completely but it's up to you entirely how you choose to do it obviously but just wet your brush a little as you, as you sort of need a bit more water but try and keep it uh, sort of on the drier side really especially for this first bit here a bit first and then I'm now going to rinse my brush off and just start moving inwards. So I'm just going to sort of run it around this outer ring here. When you're blending out these sections which are kind of made up of multiple different shades just bear in mind where the, um, the different shades are and try and keep the balance um, so don't accidentally sort of in this section for example where we added this bit of darker blue in, in the middle here drink sort of try and blend that out equally around the two sides just with a bit of water in your brush and, and most color um, watercolor pencils move around uh, you know, it's easy enough to move them around the page as long as you haven't pushed too hard um, when you were applying the colour in the first place. So it's still a bit wet now, but you can see the different colours and how they've blended out down into the uh, sort of the bottom of the feather but I really love this effect and I think it's a really great one um, for sort of practicing um, working with watercolor pencils and kind of uh, the effects that you can get with them so that is how you draw a peacock feather with watercolor pencils hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you again on the next one bye